What's girls? How you doing? Let's do another pick a card. And today is going to be where did it go wrong? Ooh, that could be uh, fascinating, slightly triggering, and let's keep an open mind. It can be any kind of error of your life, and if it doesn't resonate, let it go. You know, it's just tarot, as I always say. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That could be fascinating. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay, so let's go. One, two, one, two. So part number one, where did it go wrong? Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Well, it's very straightforward. I think there's two areas where it could have gone wrong. First of all, it could have been that you were extremely, or the other person as well, it could have been extremely attractive, handsome, center of attention, in, on the spotlight, maybe one of you um, was very well known or someone was more comfortable on social situation. Um, therefore, uh, that creates maybe a slight um, lack of confidence on the other partner. So one of you was much more center stage, where the other one wasn't. There's not so much a jealousy per se, but it's more like, oh my God, you know, am I good enough for that person? If that person can have anyone or anything they want in life. It could have been that. It's not so much about the success one person could have professionally or not, but definitely uh, an idea of like this person can have access to anybody. Everyone wants a piece of her or him. Therefore, I'm a little bit... Um, unsure of um, you know what I do have to offer on this relation in this relationship so that could have been that it could also be in that there is an idea of there was a lack of equal give and take there was a necessity for you guys to rebalance the connection someone was giving too much maybe someone may have been um, very much um, narcissist uh, with tendency of narcissism and so that's an idea of well as well of receiving receiving but not giving anything the equal give and take is something that needs to be reappreciated um it's also a lack of transparency if uh you know someone maybe were not that truthful towards somebody else i mean those issues are kind of quite classical in a relationship unfortunately um but you know, it's necessary to rebalance it all because this is the Six of Pentacles. It has to be an idea of longevity, but it has to be an idea of equality. So I think there is those two areas where it could have gone wrong. However, there's an idea as well that um, things are going to work out in a sense of you're going to receive the fruit of your labor. Maybe, maybe that person, instead of thinking, oh, um, that person is all in center stage, um, what about me? Maybe you needed to work on yourself and self-development, self-worth, rediscovering yourself. Find a place of your own in order to realize, okay, I have a presence, I have um, a lot of qualities, uh, maybe I didn't push them enough. And that person could actually inspire you to do something about it and become center stage in your own life as well. I think um, you haven't... Uh, invested in this connection for nothing I do believe that you both have something to learn that is a that is relationship for you at the end of the day you always learn something good or bad however there is an idea of success here so I just want to have more information about this yeah I mean communication maybe that was a problem you were not communicating enough there was not uh, enough of an open heart conversation maybe you could talk about all kind of things but really, the real question never uh, were ne never discussed. And that is very important to have an open, open conversation. And also the desire to both of you, you know, wanted to move forward, wanted to make this happen. You have to be two to tango. So I think there's, again, this idea of not being equal within a relationship. So communication is something that you definitely need to have in order to have that transparency we were talking about earlier. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's been a mission between you you two. Um, I think it's been one obstacle after another. Maybe life was not very kind to you as a relationship. Maybe it was just very tricky. But nine of wands is also almost ten of wands, which is again confirming the idea like someone was giving too much and carrying a lot of weight on their shoulder but not giving enough attention to themselves so again we're going back to the same story it's very congruent here the reading um it's an idea of not paying attention uh, to yourself enough or to themselves enough not working on the self-worth not being equal in a relationship so in my opinion that's where 
it went well. Okay, so, but there's hope for things to develop and get better. So pile number two, where did it go wrong? Two of sword, page of sword, nine of cups, right? So again, um, interesting, there's an open door, so I'm, I'm glad to see that. <laughs> um, someone was now opening the heart. Someone was definitely uh, protecting the heart or almost a switch of the heart. It's like having an induced coma because they needed to recover. So everything had to shut down for a while. But the thing is, um, when you start to shut down, you can shut down forever or for a very long time. So there isn't... Um, <laughs> A conscious decision to take uh, to be taken at some point. They may have been hurt. They may have been left by someone. It could have been a parent. It could have been someone die. And, and they suffer so much. They realize I never want to suffer that bad again. So I'm never going to open my heart and love someone at the same level ever again. So it could have been as well um, a choice to make between two. That's where it went wrong because it maybe chose someone else. At the end of the day, through introspection, you can maybe see they need a bit of a moon. Um, they they have worked on themselves or you worked on yourself as well. There's an idea as well when you go for someone that is not um, open to love, it's because somehow, even though you like the idea of love, becoming very close to someone that scares you as well. So you will choose, consciously or not, someone who is not available. So you go with someone who is maybe married or someone who uh, doesn't want to open the heart at all because somehow it mirror your fear of really entering a love relationship for good. So that's very interesting. When it went wrong as well is someone was very defensive with their words, very cutting. And it's not because that person was bad. Again, it goes very well with the two of sword. It's an idea of defending the heart. Don't come too close. Don't come in because I, I don't want anybody in my heart. So it's that is also a problem. As well, it could have been someone spying on you or you spying on them a lack of you know trust obviously or maybe someone busy online and you know what i'm saying by that you know at some point you have to live in a real world people okay mm -hmm. <laughs> on the other hand there is a wish granted so there is an idea of uh, maybe uh, you were not spending enough time doing the most normal thing go on a date again you know we're discovering the dating atmosphere uh having some food some drink together just being you know at ease with each other that is something you may have forgotten for a while and it would be good to you know redo that that kind of things um for me it's a wish granted because you're gonna have what you actually want and it's very nice i think it's it's a beautiful vibe okay so yeah Someone definitely have to let go of a toxicity, that idea of, okay, I'm blocking my heart. Because if you remove that toxicity, like a heavy bag you, you carry trying to go to the top of a mountain, you have to do this. Otherwise, you're never going to reach the top. And for me, that will allow you to open at the level of the heart, the cups. Okay, so it's a necessity to remove a toxicity and maybe a toxic habit of, you know, closing the heart. That can't be healthy. Uh, even for that person particularly and <laughs> without even yourself around you know I mean it's not you can't live like this it's like you you don't breathe fully you don't inhale fully what is that all about you can't you know carry on like this the past is a past it doesn't mean it's going to be repeated it's up to you right so yes again the same story that sword the mind is very much controlling the heart that person had uh, and have a butterfly for you but they have that sword protecting the heart again the same kind of story so when you went wrong is really very much someone defending the heart not letting you in or vice versa you know it can always be reversed so it's not like he's, there's no love there is plenty but the gate is now open yeah, so it's maybe you still have some little hurdle and obstacle left. That's okay, but it's nothing you can't handle. So I wouldn't be too concerned. Again, Eight of Swords is all about the, the sword here. It's all about the mind. Limiting ourselves, plateau here when we could reach for the stars. Really, you know what I'm saying? Also, it's, it's the same story. You have an idea to level up. You have an idea to let go of something too heavy that you carry, which is a limitation of the mind, and allow yourself to open up your heart. Beautiful. Yeah. And of course, they thought that you were out of the league and blah, 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 blah. Anything that justify them, oh, I'm closing the heart. Oh. <laughs> but the frustration is here. So the frustration, I like that because I really bring you energy to do something about it, inevitably. 
and boom bada boom right so the ten of pentacles is again this idea of you recognize the potential you need maybe to separate or take a bit of distance you don't need to be dramatic um, but just taking the time to understand why do i feel the need to protect my heart and then when you've done that work you can fully embrace each other and embrace our love story and then of course it's a powerhouse and it's love and abundance and, and the whole shebang so et voilà <laughs> On this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.